It's 7.04 a.m. right now on December 24th, 2023. So Merry Christmas to those of you in Europe. I didn't realize that people celebrate Christmas early a year in Europe, a day early. They open their presents and all of that uh, Christmas Eve instead of Christmas Day morning. So I learned that from Niels, my accountability partner from Germany. So Merry Christmas to Europe. I woke up and wrote my stream of consciousness writing in addition to my what am I thankful for. And in my stream of consciousness writing, what came out was a couple days ago when I was out with my Korean Canadian friends, I had already paid for bowling, but I changed my mind and I didn't want to go because it was going to be too late for me in my bedtime. And my friend Eric was really nice and said, Hey, uh, since my girlfriend is going, I'll pay for, I'll pay you back for the bowling fee. So you don't, since you're not going anyways. And me being trained to, you know, the Asian way is you just refuse all offers because you don't want to owe anybody. I just said, no, 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 it's okay. Like I just refused it. <laughs> but I'm thinking I, from this book, Transserving in 78 Days, it says, if someone offers you something, don't be too quick to refuse. And I was thinking, yeah, that's probably, that's probably good advice. Like the reason I'm refusing an offer like that is because I've just been trained to do that since a very young age. I've been trained that you don't want to owe anything to anyone. But I don't think that's such a bad thing if you think about it more deeply. Let's say I accepted Eric's offer about him paying me back for the bowling fee. Eric would feel good about himself for helping me out and I would now feel like I owe him so I would be even more generous to him in future encounters. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. When someone offers you something, not being so quick to refuse. Yeah, I think it actually is a good thing that we have this give and take relationship instead of, no, I don't want to owe anyone, so don't offer me anything. <laughs> the thing is, it's going to be difficult because it's such a habit that it's an automatic response when someone offers me something for me to refuse it. So even though I know the good thing is not to quickly refuse, but to accept offers, well, maybe not all offers if they're a bit much, but you know, small kindness offers that people are offering to me. I'll have to train myself to like say, no, no, no. And then think about it and say, wait, actually, um, yes, that that's very nice of you. And just be thankful and express your gratitude towards them. And now there's even more reason for you to be generous with them next time. I just wanted to add this on a related note. I heard Jordan Peterson say, don't be afraid to ask for favors from other people because once they do a favor for you, they won't be afraid to ask favors from you in the future. So it directly ties with this issue of should you refuse all offers or should you accept them? Food for thought. So I got a comment by Ignacio and he commented on my goal about making money and how that's not the best thing as to set as a goal because making money is just a vague thing of having more potential to buy whatever you want but just having more potential to buy stuff is not a good goal to have because it's so vague that made so much sense to me i'm like okay so i should not set my goal as earning a hundred dollars a month from youtube to start off with but i do want to have a target I, a goal with youtube and i guess right now that would be four thousand watch hours so i said you have four thousand watch hours which i don't it's at like 1,300 or something like that. I didn't check, but I'll show it. I'll show it here somewhere. And that's the goal that I want to have with my YouTube channel so that I can get monetized. But I don't even, I don't even know if that's, that's the right goal. I'm confused as to what goal I should set. And I know that YouTube is my number one goal right now. I'm prioritizing making a video every single day. And I have been for the last 50 plus days, but what goal do I set that I read every time I check my phone. 4,000 watch hours, yeah, but there's no like strong emotion that comes with it. It's weird. I guess I want the goal to be something that I have some strong emotional feeling when I read that goal. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. I was watching a lot of videos by live streams by Owen Cook today, past live streams. He's a self-help teacher and he was talking about you are enough as you are now. Have a pep in your step. Feel that you're in total abundance and total flow feel that you're loving life. And how do you go about doing that when you're kind of in a physical scarcity? It's like telling someone to feel full when they're hungry. And he said there are some things you can do that will help. And one of them is the key is to find small wins
wins and winning builds swagger. So keep pointing out small wins that you're doing and build on that. Another key is general gratitude. So I guess it's a good thing that I'm writing my what am I thankful for every morning. Well, almost every morning. Feel that abundance now, that carefree sense, that self-love, that sense of enough. To do that, learn how to truly enjoy yourself. Do things for yourself. Begin to cut loose, begin to enjoy, begin to have swagger. Put out good emotions for you, not for others. Start having a bit more fun. I think the learning how to enjoy yourself, that's a bit hard to execute because it's still conceptual, but finding small wins and building on small wins every day and feeling gratitude and trying to enjoy yourself, have fun, I think are great starting points for a feeling of abundance. He also talked about just because you have money and a jacked body doesn't mean you're going to attract all the girls you want. He's seen guys and clients who they're tall, they're jacked, they're rich, but they're still coming from the scarcity mindset thinking they're, they're doing all that to seek for approval. The reason they're get earning money, the reason they're getting jacked is for the approval of women. And it was funny because he pulled up a meme about what guys think and what actually happens in real life. Like the meme says, uh, what guys think, girls will swoon all over them, but what actually happens in real life is that guys will be like, yo, your chest is massive. And this is actually something that happened in person, and I was actually the one complimenting the guy who was jacked. Like none of the girls at the table were saying, oh wow, look at your body or anything like that. I, as a guy, was like, dude, you're even bigger than Eric and like, you're, you're, you're huge. And I was commenting on his body, right? So being jacked actually gets more male attention than female attention, that's really funny. I've seen it firsthand, that to be true. I think this feeling of abundance, about enjoying life, having a pep in your step, that's all tied in with the process of letting go. I think it's all just like one general umbrella where letting go is a part of that and feeling abundant is another side of that coin. Anyways, I'm glad I went out for my walk today because I was sedentary for so much of the day today. <laughs> like I almost feel guilty about being so sedentary. Man, it's ridiculous how much time I just spend sitting in one place. I also heard about this book and challenge called the 12 hour walk. It sounds absolutely insane you set a day where you walk for 12 hours with no technology unplugged and apparently some people find it life-changing it has piqued my curiosity but i don't think it has to be exactly 12 hours i think like six to seven hours should be will that be enough or does it have to be like double that in order for you to have a breakthrough i don't know but 12 hours sounds super extreme anyways those are some of the content that i came across today merry christmas everyone it is 8 36 p.m the night before christmas i ended up taking a nap because i was so tired if I'm gonna wake up like I woke up today at 5.45 a.m., then I really need to go to bed much earlier. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. 1% better every day, baby.